Hi guys, welcome to Barons Online. Today we're going to take you through a 30 minute Pilates class. Enjoy. So let's start off first of all with our legs hip distance apart, standing nice and tall onto our mats. Let's start to think about shifting the weight, so taking the weight into the toes, coming back into the heels. So we have that little forwards and back rock. And from here what we're going to do is just start to try and centre our weight. So if we start to reduce the amount of rocking forwards and back, and we can just then centre from here. Hands to the hips, we're going for those little pelvic tilts, so it's a forwards and back tilt. So if you think as you're tilting forwards, the back flattens and that is your point A. As you come back, we get a little arch in the spine and that is our point C. What we're looking for is our point B position, which is that midway between those two points. So it's really important that we do start with the correct posture before we start doing the exercises. So let's just settle here. Hands to the side of the rib cage, and let's start to think about breathing. So we're going to breathe laterally. That's an outward breath movement. So we take the breath in. What you should feel is a nice expansion of the rib cage as you breathe out. Relaxation. Breath in. Breath out. So we take the breath in through the nose. You breathe out through the mouth that piercing, piercing of the lips. And then just bring your arms down. So we continue that breath pattern, breathing laterally. Let's start to now think about lifting and squeezing the pelvic muscles. So we're gonna pull the muscles in, upwards and inwards, so really squeeze. Try not to clench the bottom. Just try and lift as much as you can and then releasing out to about 30%. The abdominals, we draw the belly button back as much as we can towards the spine and then release it out to about 30%. We're gonna start a little bit of mobilization. So let's do a little rotation of the head from side to side. As we start to think about mobilizing through the body, starting with the spine, working down. Don't worry too much about your breath, as long as you're breathing, that's the main thing, come back to centre. Lower the ear down and lift. So we create a lovely length into the side of the neck as we lower the ear down. Really feel that lovely stretch. And then we're going to bring chin towards the chest and lift and again, bring the chin towards the chest. Lift, come down, lift, chin comes down, start to roll. So we're getting all rolling. Come back to centre and lift. Lift the shoulders, let them drop as we go into those lovely shoulder shrugs to release any tension from the shoulders. We all tend to carry lots of tension in the shoulders, so it's really nice to try and just release. Let's have a forwards rotation. Just bringing the hands into prayer, keeping the hips still, and let's take a little rotation here. Just be mindful of what's happening with those hips. Just keeping them nice and centered. And then we go into a lovely side lean. Just reaching all the way down that leg. Bringing the arm overhead. And again. And lift. Let's go for a knee raise. Opposite arm. Left. Starting just to warm up through the lower part of the body. And then we kick the leg behind, so nice and controlled. 
squeezing as we lift. Lift. One more to each side. And then we're just going to take it to a little hip opening exercise. And again. Little squat down and just watch the knee tracks over toes push the bottom back bring the arms down by your side take the arm back open to again spinal rotation a little lower float the arm up back open lower and that floats the arm let's go again lift one more to each side so we take it back so again we're getting that little rotation lower last Open, lower, and lift. Well done. Give your legs a bit of a shake. So we're going to start off with the squat sequence. So we're going to start off with the legs hip distance apart, and we're just going to take a little squat and lift. So again, be mindful of the knees. We're not allowing the knees to knock in over toes. We're going to do four here. Take the legs a little wider. We have four squats here. So breath in and breath out. Two more. Last one, nice and controlled. Now turn the toes out to a plie position. So we go into a plie squat for four. Nice and controlled, watching the knees. when you're lifting. Now we come to an internal rotation. Push the bottom away. Might feel a little strange. Control. Now from here, step feet together. Four squats here. Down, keep the knees together. Let's start from the top, legs hip distance, squat, lift, control, sit back, take the legs a little wider, Turn the toes outwards. Go for internal rotation. And again. Two more. Keep the knees soft, step in, feet together, and lift. Let's go again, legs hip distance, squat, and lift. Breathing in, breathing out. 
Step a little wider. Sit. Left. Take it toes out, plie squat. Turn the toes inward, rotation. Step the feet in. Two more. Last time from the top, hip distance, four squats here. Take the legs a little wider, four squats here. Take it to that plie squat. Inwards rotation. We step those feet in together. Well done, everybody. Okay, we're going to come down onto our mats. We're going to come and start off with an all fours position. So, again, be mindful of your positioning. The wrists are under the shoulders, your knees are stacked underneath the hips. And we are just going to, first of all, lift one arm, then the other. So imagine you're a cat pouring along the carpet. Keep the body really still here. So what you're trying to achieve is a stillness of the body and just raising one arm. And it's not as easy as it looks. So core muscles are working hard to stabilize you as you're lifting the arm. One more to each side. From here we're going to do the exact same but with the leg. So we take it to a leg slide, so we slide and back. So again what you're trying to achieve is that stability through the body, so we're keeping the body really stable as we slide the leg. Slide it out, bring it back in. Last one, and in. So from here, we're going to lift one leg and the opposite arm. Place it down, and the same on the other side. This is really controlled. And I'm really kind of thinking about keeping my body as still as I can. 
as I'm lifting the arm and the leg. So again, not quite as easy as what it looks. Go one more to each side. So, let's add on to this. So we're going to take the arm and the leg and now we're going to open both out to the side. Come back, change sides. So we come forwards to the side back and down, lift, open, close, down. Now is the body stable? Hopefully. It's much harder this one. You really do have to think about using all your stabilising muscles. Open, close, down, we're going to go one more to each side, well done, just sit back into your shell pose, just take a little moment to relax. Come back to all fours. Now, we're going to bring the knee forwards. So we're going to come forward, we have a little lean, back, alternate. Eyes are down. Control. Tummy tight. So we have a very slight lean, really working the abdominals here. One more to each side. Well done. So, side face. Come down on to the elbow. And bring the feet so they're pretty much in line with the back of your mat. The feet are together. You can rest the arm in front and we're just going to open and close the knee. Keep the feet together and you can have a little bit of a squeeze in the heel if you want. Have a look, shoulders, elbows, underneath. Lift. Hip and glutes. Lift. Two more then we can add on. Place the hand onto the hip. Now we're going to lift you're going to lift up out of the waist. So we're going to lift lower. I've got my hand on my hip. So again, you should feel this in to the bottom, opening into the hip. Lift.
Let's stay up and just have a little pulse. And release down. Well done. Let's go on to the other side. So again, we rest down onto the elbow. The elbow and the shoulder should be aligned. Take the feet to the back of your mat. And we start off with just opening and closing the knee. So again, working into the hip, into the glute. Lift. Hand to the hip, let's lift ourselves up if you can. Lift. And again, lift. Let's stay up, have a little pulse. And release down, well done. Over to the first side. This time, the arm extends, the head is going to lie on to the arm. We bring the legs so they're in a 90 degree angle. So feet together, knees together. Now, leading with the knee, I'm gonna open and close. So again, you're gonna feel this into the glute. Lift. Two more. Now, lift the leg and we're going to have a little circle around. Opposite direction. Control. And release, well done. Let's switch and do exactly the same on the other side. You should have felt the bottom there, hopefully. So we're lengthening the arm down. We bring the legs to 90 degrees. Leading with the knee, lift and lower. Control. Hopefully feeling glutes. And then just lift and a very small circle. Going in the opposite direction. And release, give that leg a little bit of a rub. Slowly bring yourself up, turn around and let's come down on to the mat, nice and slowly down, just bringing those knees in towards the chest, bringing your arms just down by your side, the legs towards the tabletop, and then tap, and then. Nice and controlled. So 
So each time the leg comes back to your tabletop position, keeping that connection with the spine and the mat. Tapping, lifting. Eyes are upwards towards the ceiling. Now from here we're going to go one tap, two tap, three tap, in, one tap, two, three. Your tap gets further away from you with each tap. Tabletop is a tap, 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 in, one, two, three. In, tap, 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 in. Now from here, double tap so we come down but we don't completely tap so we just lower the legs slightly it's almost like you're pushing the knees away very slightly so if you notice that I'm not bringing the toes down to touch the floor and just be mindful of what's happening with the lower back you don't want to create any arch in the lower back Nice and controlled here. So again, I'm not lowering all the way down. Let's just go for two more here. Well done. Bring those knees in. Go for that little rock from side to side. Just massaging into the spine. Just pushing that lower back down towards the mat. And we're going to finish off with a little bit of stretch. So we're going to lengthen from the fingers to the toes. Draw the belly button down towards the spine. Really feel the length you're creating through your body. Take a few breaths, breathing in and out. And release. We're going to take one arm across the body to stretch out into the shoulder. A lovely shoulder stretch here. And then on the other side. And then once again, draw the knees in towards the chest. Just place the hands onto the shins and then push down with the lower back in towards the mat. So we get a nice lower back stretch. And then gently just bring yourself up into a seated, into a crouched position. From here we're going to lengthen the legs and very slowly start to roll up, placing the hands into the small of the back, bring the arms forwards, lift the arms up side stretch reaching up take a breath and out bring your hands down and give yourself a big clap well done everybody 
Really hope you enjoyed the class and hope to see you all soon. Take care. Bye-bye.